Open APIs will provide the essential glue that holds the world's new Industry 4.0 digital economy together. But with over a dozen API options currently available from everyone from the GSMA, Etsy, TM Forum, TIA, well, the complexity is already staggering. Now, factor in industry-specific APIs tailored for different verticals like manufacturing or healthcare, and we could be looking at literally thousands of options, fostering confusion rather than innovation. I'm extremely confused. Me too. The story of Network Functions Virtualization, or NFV, offers a cautionary tale here. It faltered primarily due to the overwhelming number of approaches offered by vendors. For a few years, I ran an industry organization called the NIA that tried to clean things up. Our proposed solution, ironically enough, was to use a common open API architecture to consolidate NFV implementations. We had some support from telecom vendors, including Huawei and Ericsson, but in the end, it didn't happen because those pesky hyperscalers wouldn't get behind it. Sorry, but this is the business we've chosen. They absolutely hated the idea of anything threatening their ability to lock customers into their proprietary cloud ecosystems. And shortly after that, the NFV movement folded under the weight of its own complexity. Today's situation echoes the high-speed land wars of the 1990s, when half a dozen competing technologies flooded the market. Now, despite the diversity of options, a singular solution emerged, Ethernet. Users, it turned out, sought simplicity and consistency, not perfection. As open APIs continue to proliferate, we need to learn from past mistakes. A widely adopted, clear and unified API architecture will accelerate interoperability, innovation and adoption on a global basis. And that's good for everyone. But without it, the risk of confusion and delay looms large. I'm hoping one of the current approaches emerges like an Ethernet to unite the industry. But in this new comms market that we live in, operating under the influence of big tech, I'm worried that's impossible.